Don't utilize puff words in your writing. Today on How to Write Better, we are talking about puff words. Those little obnoxious words that people use to make their writing sound bigger and smarter and more intelligent, more erudite, one might say. What is a puff word exactly? Well, I actually started this video with one of them. We often use words like utilize. So maybe I should say we often utilize words that make our writing sound well, they actually don't make our writing sound smarter. They make our writing sound more stilted and more amateurish, right? Perfect example of that is the word utilize. The word use works just fine. So instead of I utilized a hammer to hammer the nail, no, you just use the hammer to hammer the nail. Now, of course, to utilize something means to use it for something other than its intended use. So maybe I utilize the hammer to milk a goat, that'd be a strange use of a hammer. And so you could use the word utilize there, but 99% of the time we use that word in a way that is stilted. It's unnecessary. Here's another one. A few years ago, I went to buy a used car and I pulled up to the lot. I saw this giant sign that said pre-owned vehicles. What? Do you mean used cars? Those are two puff words put together. We use this in marketing speak. Why? Because, well, we think it makes us sound more compelling, but it doesn't. I bought a used car and I'm fine with owning a used car. I don't need to impress anyone with my pre-owned vehicle. And I drive that pre-owned vehicle to my residence. Well, no, I drive it to my house. Residence is just another puff word. Now, don't get me wrong. We do want variety in our writing. So these words aren't illegal. You can certainly use any of these words in your writing, but you want to be cognizant of the words you choose. And if they're not the most precise word, or if there's a simpler word that will get the job done, always err on the side of simplicity. Now, here's my favorite puff word. It's not actually a puff word. It's a puff phrase. And I'm going to talk about it at the present moment. I mean, I'm going to talk about it now because at the present moment is a puff phrase. We say it all the time in our everyday conversations. We might call someone up on the, the phone, a, a family member, a coworker and say, what are you doing right now? And they could say, at the present moment, I'm busy working on spreadsheets. But they're really saying, I'm busy working on spreadsheets now. And so the word now is so much more powerful than this string of puffery. If you want some more writing tips, you can download my free ebook. It's called 15 Ways to Write Better. You can just click the link in the description or head on over to howtowritebetter.org and you'll walk away after one hour with 15 writing tips that will improve your writing today.